In this session, we're going to talk about using the schedule feature in the Billing and Contacts module. So to access the schedule, you simply click on the schedule button, which you'll find here in the contact table. And you'll also see it down in any of your service tickets. In either place, you'll just click on the, the technician schedule button. And you'll be taken to a complete list of all appointments for that day for all your technicians. And you'll find all of the appointments listed alphabetized, and you can view those by technician. And in this view, you actually see the appointments for each technician in what we call the preview mode. And you can rotate through each of the technicians just by clicking the button above. Now these pages are designed so that they can be printed. You can, the, and your technicians then can manually mark, you know, what kind of cash uh, payments they received how much, and so forth and so on, and make any notes on here. So that can be printed to paper or even to PDF, and then distributed to your technicians. And if you want to look at any other uh, schedules on the page, you can just click on that day. And you'll be taking a list for that day as well. So it's very easy to navigate and to view all your appointments for any particular day. And if you want to email a particular assignment to, to one of your technicians, you can click the email button here and that, that will be sent to your default email program in a text format. And if any appointments that you want to remove from the list without deleting the record, you can simply click the omit button. That schedule will be omitted. And the button over here to the right allows you to set or view a particular appointment in the Smart Planner, which we'll talk about in another session. And we have another feature using Google Maps that's quite helpful. We can find any of our technicians. So if I want to find Albert, and I want to find him for today, using my find command, I bring up his four appointments for the day. And we can click on the map found set button with Google Maps. And we can start from our office. And you'll see that uh, Google will map out the uh, shortest distance for you. You notice that uh, stop A is a post office box, so basically that's just going to put it in the middle of town, and uh, you'll have a chance to go back and and uh, reset that. But you also have the ability to reorder. If I want to change C to B, all I have to do is drag it here, move it, and you'll see that the schedule automatically resets for you over here. And while it's not a replacement for using a GPS, it is a, it is a quick way to get an idea of where you're going to be going for the day. So as you can see, scheduling is very easy to do. So as you can see, scheduling is very easy to do. If you want to see a complete list of all your appointments for the day, just click the preview button. And you'll see all of the day's activities sorted by technician and date and time. And to return, just click the continue button and you're back to your day's view. So there you have it, scheduling in the Billing and Contacts module.